A lot of people seem to think that in order to create amazing realistic drawings you need loads and loads of art supplies and really expensive materials. But in this video I want to show you a realistic portrait that I did with only two colour pencils, a black pencil and a white pencil. Also I want to give you one of the most important tips that I think that I can give you guys for drawing realistically. Just before I start I want to let you guys know that if you want to learn even more about drawing portraits in colour pencil then I have got a whole course dedicated to all of my tips and techniques for drawing super realistic portraits in colour pencil. I will leave a link at the top of the description and you can get it from there and watch the whole course trailer as well to see exactly what is included in the course. But anyway guys, let's get on with today's video. For this drawing, I am drawing Michonne from The Walking Dead. And as I said, I am only using two pencils for this. I am using the Caran d'Ache Luminance white and black colored pencil, and I'm using toned paper for this drawing. All of the materials that I'm using will also be listed down below in the description if you wanna check them out as well. And so this was a tutorial series for Patreon that I wanted to do, and I really just wanted to use this drawing to demonstrate one key thing that I think is so important for real realistic drawings and the thing that I think people neglect the most. I feel like a lot of people focus on picking the perfect colours for a drawing and making sure the sketch outline is really good and all of these other things like the techniques for applying the pencils and those things are all really important but one thing I feel that people neglect a lot is the actual contrast and the values. I feel like people don't focus on the depth in their shadows and their highlights and getting that contrast in in a drawing and so I thought it would be really good to demonstrate this factor and this point with this drawing because only using a black and white pencil means that you've really got to focus on your values and I really want to show that just by going really dark with the black pencil in the areas that you need to and getting the shadows right and just by focusing on getting the brightest areas by getting those highlights in you can see that this drawing will pop so much and I'm not focusing on picking loads of different colors for it and getting the hues of like skin tones perfect I'm using the paper to actually have Help get in those mid-tones and add some colour in there and I'm not focusing an, a massive amount of time on the actual detail there's not going to be much detail to this piece and so I'm heavily relying on the contrast and I do think people neglect shadows and highlights and it is something that I go on in most of my videos and you're probably sick of me talking about it about saying how important it is for the shadows to go dark enough and the highlights to go bright enough but I keep saying it so much because it is so important and I do feel that even if people People are told lots of times how important it is it doesn't really sink in too much and they're too focused on all of these other things but what it does is when you have your shadows dark enough and your highlights bright enough and all of your values in the right place when you look at your drawing from a distance it really does pop and stand out a lot of people especially when I critique people's artwork I find that a common mistake that a lot of people make is they stick within that mid sort of range of values and they don't go to extremes and I feel like a lot of people worry about going too dark with their pencils because it's scary you don't want to go too dark and make a mistake and not be able to reverse that but it's so important and I think you guys should just experiment with it go as dark as you need to use your reference image and lay down your color and see just how dark you need to go and how much pressure you need to apply on your black pencil for example in order to match the color on the reference image and maybe create like a value chart you can do it with graphite pencils colored pencils it works with whatever medium you are using so make a value chart and use that to compare say for example your graphite pencils your different grades of graphite pencils with your reference image and see which best one matches and I bet you it's probably darker than you think it will be and so the reason that I'm using toned paper for this drawing is because I've already got the mid-tone values there and so you are forced to have to use your dark values and your light values in order to make this pop and sculpt in that face and the actual drawing you won't be able to just resort to using mid-tone values like you would do if you're using white paper more detail for example doesn't mean 
mean more realism and having the perfect colors doesn't make your drawing realistic. What makes your drawing realistic is the tones and the values and the contrast there, which really makes it pop. And so I really recommend practicing this technique and investing as much time watching videos and tutorials on picking the perfect values as you do on picking colors and creating sketch outlines and all of that other stuff because it is such an important and vital skill. So really just practice a few sketches with your black and white pencil and toned paper. If you guys would like to follow along with me in real time as I actually drew this with voiceover, then you can find that on my Patreon along with loads of other tutorials for color pencil, graphite, and all of that other good stuff. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and found that tip useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new around here, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.